individualized. My name is Lily Verlaine, and I am a burlesque producer, performer, voluptuary, and general bad influence. Honestly, I didn't know what burlesque was um, before I ended up at a burlesque show. In that show were the first originating members of the Atomic Bombshells, Kitten LaRue and Fanny and Flames, and I was completely blown away and like, I found my place, you know? And I went up to Fanny and Flames after the show and told her I was a dancer and I told her some stupid story and not thinking anything of it, but she said, well, you're a dancer, you should come and audition for us. I was just kind of in the right place at the right time. Just walking in the door in this venue is outrageous because you've got this beautiful proscenium and this stunning curtain and it's so mysterious and intriguing. It's like, oh, what's going to happen You know, when the curtain goes up? The intimacy of the seating is unbelievable as well. It's like every party is its own party and there's wonderful food and there's wonderful cocktails. And you know, of course, in my opinion, Cocktails and theater are completely integral, especially to performance like the one that we are presenting. is full of so many divergent skills and backgrounds and bodies and ages and personality types that I feel like we all have our place and there's room for everyone so I try to just do my part and do my part well. I just want to get bigger and more glamorous and I want to have talent that is you know world class performing in these shows and I feel like we are really doing an excellent job at cultivating that. So the future of burlesque in my world is that, oh God, I want to be in New York. I want to be in Berlin. I want to be in Sydney, you know? And I'm touching on a lot of those places currently in my solo travels. So I'm trying to kind of make those connections and really put this city and this environment on the map as a place that has really nurtured and originated a lot of the talent that is making the burlesque scene in this city what it is. As time has gone by and my production skills have developed and the shows have become much more notorious and well-known and accepted and they're on magazine covers and they're being written about in the Times, people are kind of starting to get an idea of what I mean when I say I'm a burlesque performer. 